All right, guys, uh, today we're talking about revenge porn, and this is something that's dead daggum serious in Oklahoma right now. You know, in the past, if a guy would take a picture or video of his girlfriend or have her send one to him, and he shared it with a buddy or a pal, hey, not a problem. No, no one was the wiser, no harm, no foul. Well, let me tell you, things have changed in Oklahoma. All right, guys, my name is Lee Berlin. My practice is devoted just to sex crimes and felony domestic violence cases. And let me tell you, there has been a massive, massive, massive uptick here in Tulsa County, Northeast Oklahoma on revenge porn cases. Now, this didn't exist when I was a teenager, when I was a young man, when I was in college. We didn't have cell phones. We didn't have digital cameras the way that uh, they, they do today. It just wasn't an issue. But now we all have phones, we all have cameras, we all have digital equipment on us, and we're taking what happens in the bedroom, the intimate relationships of our life, and we're putting it into a digital format. And, you know, as young men sometimes do, although it's not the gentlemanly thing, we share photos of in videos of individuals that we're being intimate with. And whether it's as a trophy or to show off or to get some type of social clout, Okay. Most of the time, that conduct is not illegal because the key element in the revenge porn statute is whether or not you disseminated that image for the purposes of intimidation, harassment, or coercion. And if you didn't do it for any of those purposes, well, technically, your conduct's not illegal. But let me tell you, the prosecutors in the counties that surround Tulsa, and especially in Tulsa County, simply ignore that element. You will get charged with this crime, even if your conduct was not designed to harass, intimidate, and coerce. So fellas, if you're out there and you're taking images in, or receiving intimate photos from someone that you're in a relationship with or dating or just had a fantastic evening with, let me tell you, disseminating those images will get you charged, even if your conduct is technically not illegal. Okay. So instead of us having to unring this bell and take it in front of a jury or a judge or file motions or have hearings on it, costing you thousands, if not tens of thousands of dollars to defend, having your name and your reputation taken through the mud, our suggestion to you is just don't do it. Despite all of the temptations to just don't because the folks here in Tulsa County, they're going to charge you with it. Lori Fulbright, she's going to run a, run a news article on you on it. And your name and your reputation will be destroyed, even if at the end of the case, you're acquitted. Gentlemen, a lot of lawyers out there trying to make friends. I'm just trying to keep one guy out of prison one day at a time. Till the next one.